man, I uh, I started cheerleading back in 2000 and uh, 2001. So I did it, and I was hooked, man. That was 2001. Uh, I cheered all through undergrad at Temple University. I got a full cheerleading scholarship to the University of Delaware for my master's degree. I competed uh, in all sorts of competitions. Uh, then I got another full scholarship to the University of Louisville to get a second master's degree and uh, won my first national championship in 2009. I was on the first uh, ever U.S. Olympic team in 2009, Team USA. We won the gold medal. Um, won multiple world championships and then ended up at uh, the most prolific collegiate cheerleading program in the world, Moorhead State University, as their head coach of the all-girl and uh, co-ed cheerleading teams, which was probably the greatest honor uh, of my of my uh, career and coached them for three years, won uh, at least one to two national championships every year in various divisions and uh, traveled, uh, traveled all over the world, taught camps. It's been uh, it's been a, a wonderful career, and uh, it's taught me a lot of things, and um, it's kept me pretty handsome too. So I really can't deny that. So uh, my wife's cousin, uh, Jay Scott, retired from LMPD after a, an illustrious career, and uh, so he and I became kindred spirits as soon as I met him when I met my wife, and uh, he always said, "You man, you'd be a great, great cop, great cop." And all growing up, I always wanted to help people, but not help people and like give people rides home from Bardstown Road when they're drunk. Like I wanted to help people by the weak and the innocent, but those who prey on them, like almost like if you were to refer it to Star Wars, like those that live on the dark side, those guys and those girls and those women, uh, I want to help people by, by, by putting the real bad people in jail. I mean, it's kind of cliche, you know, I want to help people, but I want to help people in a different way. So, uh, you know, I think I've always wanted to be the police. I just never knew it until I got here, if that makes sense. All right, so one of the important things that I try to stress to everybody is that, you know, policing is a high-stress job, and it's important to have hobbies outside of police and friends outside of police, and one of the things that Hill and I are big on is uh, the fitness world. Oh yeah. So let's get into the importance of uh, not only staying in shape, but kind of, you know, the level that you do and, and why it's important. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I've always been uh, a huge advocate of fitness uh, ever since uh, I enjoyed fitness in college, but when I got, went to the University of Delaware for my first master's degree, I found uh, my coach. Uh, he was a huge fitness advocate, and he really got me understanding nutrition and uh, and actual in-depth analytics of, of fitness. And um, that's when I really fell in love with it. And I found CrossFit here at LMPD when the very first day of the academy, Dan Barnett started us at CrossFit. And, I was, I never, I never honestly heard of it before that. I was just like a bodybuilding style lifter, like uh, grunt and groan, um, lift it and stick it, you know? And uh, I found it first day of the academy, I, I was a smitten kitten. I, I loved it. Um, I loved the way it made me feel, how it pushed me, how every day you had the ability to do better than the day before. Um, and that, <laughs> if that doesn't motivate you as police, then nothing is gonna be. Because in this job, man, um, you have absolutely have no idea when you're going to be pushed to your limits. And uh, the beautiful part is you may never. You, you may ride the beat for 25 years and never be pushed to that limit to where you have to, you know, really pass a certain level of uh, comfortability. Um, but if you do, you better be ready for it. And I think CrossFit, at least for me, the way I approach it, um, really gives me a good taste of what I'm capable of and um, you know when you're halfway I mean honest to God and I know you know people may laugh at it but I don't care if people laugh at me all the time but every every you know workout I do every CrossFit workout I do I really before I go I think of it as like almost like a life or death situation like how hard am I how hard do I have to work at this to make it f feel real you know and um, that's that's really got me a good at CrossFit and B probably at 34 the best shape of my life. 
I mean, uh, I think I am the most handsome man on the department. I don't think that's a question. How cute is she? She'll, uh, look how cute she is. Look at the sandals. I'm having a baby girl in like three weeks, and so every time I see a little girl, I like totally think of, oh my gosh, I'm having a baby girl. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do.